To complete our development environment configuration, we need to install .NET Core. This may not have come out of the box with Visual Studio or the version that was in Visual Studio may be a bit outdated. So the latest version or the version at the time of this recording is .NET Core 3.1. So to get that one, you just go to .net.microsoft.com slash download, or you could just Google .NET Core and it will bring you to this site and then you can proceed to download the SDK. So you notice that you have .NET Core 3.1 and the latest .NET framework, which also may not have been included in that Visual Studio installation. So you can download both, but I'm really going to focus on the core because that's the one we really want. And you just click download SDK, it will launch a download. And then when that is finished, then we look at the installation process. When you launch the installer, it's pretty much straightforward. You just need to click install and let it go through any security checks. And then it will just install .NET Core SDK for 3.1, which at the time of the, this video was the latest version. So once that is completed, then we'll reconvene. At the end of the installation, you will see a confirmation page. And the most important line here is the installation was successful. Once you see that, you can click close. And that's it for setting up your development environment.